The first step is crafting your valuable offer. So we talked a lot about the transformation you want to take someone. And we talked a little bit about finding what was painful to somebody. Each of those different pain points matches up to a part of your offer. So for example, let's say that some pain points you identify when you're doing research is making our solution a priority to the prospect or taking the product from a nice to have to a need to have and creating urgency around a deal. Those are particular pain points that someone in Juliana's sales course would have before they come into the course. So what Juliana did in her course and in her offer is she developed a 45 minute video with examples of pain finding questions. She also developed a worksheet. This particular offer was built exactly for this type of pain. When you're launching to your audience, you're going to think a lot about what are those particular pain points and what is the exact offer that I'm doing to address those particular pain points. There's a lot of different ways that you can craft an offer and you can improve the offer in your course. So you can look at our course for inspiration, but there's other techniques you can use too. So for example, in our course right now, we have a private Slack community. Slack is a great way to get feedback from students and really refine the content that you have. You'll also notice in this course, we have worksheets and templates. And there's even a template and a worksheet inside of this session that we're doing together which you'll eventually see. There's also software deals. So imagine, for example, that you're teaching somebody how to create a website online. What if you can arrange some type of a deal with a website builder where anybody that's a student in your class gets a free month to that particular software? Now that's something that's really improving your offer and it's really making it so that there's more demand for your course. Other things you can add in are Skype coaching, expert interviews, office hours, kind of like what I was doing with growth coaching. Limited class size, you can say, hey, I'm going to limit my class size to 20 people. You can also even layer in like an hour of consulting or, or things like reasonable email support. All these offers are, all these kind of types of offers are things you can add to your course to improve the value to the point where you know that you can get people to sign up and actually pay for your course.